Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It is day three of our Universal Orlando series and today we are at Discovery Cove. We have wanted to do this for years but couldn't. We were waiting until Esme turned six so she could do the dolphin swim with us. And so this is our first time here. We got an absolute bargain on this in the Black Friday sale. I think we paid £145 per person and that included the dolphin swim plus 14 day unlimited tickets to SeaWorld Aquatic and Bush Gardens thrown in which was an absolute steal to be honest. That price also includes all inclusive on the day when you're there of all food and drink from 7.30am through to 5pm. Your wetsuit hire, snorkeling hire, all of that's included, nothing else to pay on the day at all. There are some upcharges and additional experiences if you want to do them, but it's not required. Me and Daddy are doing the Sea Venture, which is normally $150. Not that way. It's $150, but uh, today it's on sale for only $39. $39, that's very good, isn't that it? Is yeah, so you're doing it too, yeah. We are, well I didn't want to do it on a zone case eating my shark <laughs> We were too young yet, yeah, huh? Too young. Don't worry, we'll we'll chill out on the beach. Yeah. And don't worry, Ezzy, we'll chill out on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Only food that they don't get. Yeah. So yeah, we're all booked in for Sea Venture. No one and I are doing that at 9.30. Um, yeah. they give you all the information, you get the pass and there's little maps on the on the pass, mm -hmm. um, which is great. Service so far has been really slick. Uh, we're just gonna have a look around and then go for breakfast. Yeah. So the main attraction here at Discovery Cove is the dolphin swim where you can get up close, touch, play with a bottlenose dolphin. Not everyone wants to do that and you can't choose a ticket that doesn't include that, it's completely down to personal choice. On top of that, they have a free flight aviary with like 250 tropical birds. There's a heated tropical river which is like a, it looks like a natural lazy river, it's absolutely class. There's lovely white sand beaches everywhere. There's the Grand Reef where you can snorkel and swim with 5,000 fish and rays. It is cooler in there because it's sea water of course where the fish are so the temperature is a bit lower but what an absolute incredible experience from the minute you walk into this park it just has a completely different feel to it you wouldn't know you're in orlando and it certainly doesn't feel like a theme park necessarily it's more like a natural oasis with birds and fish and dolphins and that around it's been voted best attraction in orlando multiple times and i can absolutely see why just from walking through the gates so as i said there's a map that they give you when you come in so that you know which area to go to first to tell you where breakfast is, is etc um i'm sure everyone knows by now but those that don't know you're not meant to wear your own sun cream they didn't say anything to us at check-in to be honest but it's something we know from watching other people's vlogs um you had they give you um animal friendly uh sun cream here and the station is dotted around the park so i'll show you those a little bit later so we are heading straight for breakfast breakfast served from 7 30 through to 10 or 10 30 and then lunch is from 11 30 through to 3 30 so plenty of food times snacks are served all day in between from nine to five and everything else is nine to five so absolutely no way anyone's going to go hungry we are booked in at 9 30 for our sea venture and then our dolphin swims at 11 o'clock so it's going to be an amazing morning is that where we go for breakfast, it is it's over here yeah So the Laguna Grill is the main restaurant here at Discovery Cove. It's open from when the park opens at 7.30 a.m. through till half past 10 for breakfast. And then it actually serves lunch from 11 a.m. the whole way through to 3.30 p.m. So uh, insane amount of opening hours there and you can come back and get food as often or as much as you want. There's Coca-Cola drinks machines, there's juice stations, apple juice, orange juice, fresh cold water, tea, coffee. Uh, and other hot drinks. There's muesli and cereals just behind where I'm standing now. It's all you care to enjoy, but they will dish the food up for you. So you tell them what you want and they will serve it out. If you want some more, you just ask them, they're happy to do that for you. Um, all the staff are extremely helpful, extremely friendly, and very forthcoming with the food. I think you used to be able to get it all yourself, but they've changed that for obvious hygiene reasons, which is probably no bad thing, to be honest. Um, there's chicken and waffles here, you see, which is, uh, you're only allowed that in America to have chicken for breakfast. Chicken waffles, bacon syrup, French toast, there's fruit pots, yogurts, pastries, cakes, muffins, cookies. There's 100% something for everyone for sure. I've heard mixed reviews about the food, but I have to say, honestly, we really enjoyed it. These are the little park maps that are on the back of your experience booking, uh, should it be for Sea Venture or Dolphin Swim, um, which is really handy, shows you everything that is in the park. 
So after breakfast, it was time to go and get our wetsuits on and head round for the sea venture experience that Noah and I were going to do. We had a lovely walk around the park, got to see where some of the bars, snack areas, there's a shop, um, see some of the beaches. The staff are all super helpful and when you come to the station to go and get your uh, wetsuit on, they, get, they just ask your size, they'll recommend what they, what they think. <laughs> Jen was laughing there because she thought I was a large, it turned out to be a medium, um, so I'll have to take that quick win. Um, that's the snorkel size, the blues are the adults and the yellows are for the kids. Where else in the world are you going to be if you have a flock of flamingos just walking past you after breakfast? They're all taking the mick out of me because I sent them the wrong way, didn't I Esme? You look super cute in your wetsuit. Jakes, how's it feel? It feels weird. You look so grown up. It like weird. it. Well, fitted into medium. Nice. <laughs> Noah? Yeah. Yeah, you look even taller in this. He looks like one of the Incredibles. <laughs> oh, look. Amazing. That's a snorkel one. This is the, this is the Grand Reef, is it? Yeah. This is the, this is the, this is the snorkel with the fishies and everything. So tell everyone, where are we heading? We're going round to, I think it's just around here actually, to where the Grand Reef is, where we're going to be doing the sea venture, which is putting the big bubble heads on, and then you go down under the water and I see all the see fish under water. So I've always wanted to do this, but never, never done it. I never thought we'd get to do this, to be honest. So kiddies, you can go in here and snorkel. Look at the rays. Look at all the rays over there. Oh, Ed, you can go in and snorkel with those bad boys. Yeah, all this, this whole, all this area, everything here is the Grand Reef. This is just fishing all of this the whole way around. Look, all of this. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that. There's sharks in there too. You see the sharks over there? Tiger shark. So the Sea Venture experience for anyone who books it is actually right around the back of the Grand Reef. There's just a path that takes you the whole way round and it's pretty well signed from there. You have to enter a registration area, you have to sign a, a small waiver um, and photo release in case uh, they want to use any of the photos of you. But everything really straightforward. It took about five minutes and then you're good to go for the safety briefing, which was just in the, the area next door. Yeah. We're just gonna do a quick little quiz on the signals that you saw in the video. So what's the hand signal for okay? Everything good. Yeah, so this is both a question and an answer. Uh, if you see someone do this, you just do this back and show that it's all good. How about if something's not okay? Yeah, you do this and then you can point to whatever it is to your ear, your cold, or your stomach, anything, or in general, this will do. And then how about the signal for if you wanna go up? Yeah, this does not mean well done or good job. This means get me out of here. So, um, divers are used to seeing this. Um, they might try to correct you, but if you keep doing this, um, this means that we'll get you out as safely as possible. So guys, welcome to Sea Venture. I left that first little bit in there so you could see and hear what I can from being four meters under the water. This experience was incredible. You just see it written all over Noah's face. This is basically an underwater walking tour wearing a 70 pound dive helmet to give you a viewpoint from under the water. You get to come up close with thousands of fish rays a big group of fish and as you can see here there's even sharks now thankfully these are behind a, a big pane of glass but yeah it feels it feels cool being this close to them the tour is fully guided you can see there are our, our guide she writes things down at a little extra sketch things and then has a little pad which she shows over to give you information um, about the sharks or one thing or another behind that pane of glass there's zebra sharks nurse sharks black tip and white tip reef sharks um, and there's a hammerhead shark in there as well it's so so cool to be on the reef floor 
so close to them. You get to see the sheer size of Noah's helmet here. Um, this thing is huge. Um, you couldn't walk around with it on your head. You have to be partially in the water before they lower it on and then it balances out in the water, of course. This is such a unique experience. If you get the opportunity to do it, I definitely would. Uh, we got a bargain on this on the day. Uh, we hadn't planned to do it, but the price was just too good to say no. I think we paid about $80 between Noah and I to get this. And the whole experience lasts about 40 minutes. The time you do the briefing and then you get about um, 25 minutes in the actual water, which was incredible. The rays were absolutely beautiful, mesmerizing. There's just so many of them. I think there's about 30 rays in the in the reef altogether. Spotted eagle rays, cow nose rays, southern rays, and blunt nose rays. Um, some of them have it up to five feet wingspans, which is huge when you're up close to it. We've got the whole sea urchins, and there's a big sea snail we see in a second here. Noah, who's 12, was absolutely blown away by this experience. Um, I've done scuba diving before when I was younger, but this is the first time Noah's been this close um, on, under the water with animals and being up so close. This blew his mind. They started feeding the fish and they came around and swarmed. You can see he looked a little bit concerned, but they were coming right up to your helmet. It was incredible for him. Well done, Noah. How was it? <laughs> was it good? Was it as good as you thought it was going to be? Yeah. Huh? It was brilliant. High five, son. Really proud of you for doing it. Well done. Good, though. Yeah. yeah. It was brilliant. So, Paul and Noah are doing their experience just over there. And we have come to the Grey Pool. Esme, how is it? Is it warm or is it cold? Oh, it's not too bad. That's okay. That is okay. Jakes, how are we feeling? Good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just getting my snorkel attached. I'll help you. Okay, guys, let's see you go under the water. How is it? Good. Yeah? Can you see much it's down there? Here. Is there? Let's go and see him. Is it good? What was your first thought on it, Jake? Um, so what happens is you come in, and then once you go like further in, there's these rocks yeah. in like a circle formation. Yeah. And then once you go past those rocks, you're into this really deep bit where most of the fish stay. Yeah. And then there's a couple of stingrays, but most stingrays are in the shallow bit. Yeah. And it's just so good. Oh. I really need the toilet. Okay, pet. Let's take you to the toilet. So I got an orange. A mango and um, icy. A mango icy? Okay, uh -huh. have you tried it yet? Yeah, I have. Yeah, what's it like? Um, so if you've ever had Star Mix in Haribo's, 
super mix, I think it's called. It's like an orange jelly baby from that. It tastes good. Oh, good. Okay, let's have some. It tastes good. He's back. Well, how was it? No, was no, just a way to get a snorkel here and come back. That was incredible. Uh, so much footage on the GoPro. Um, come closer and tell us. You go, you get safety briefing, hand signals, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then they take you down. That just that thing in your head just sits on your shoulder. Yeah. So you tip your head down. There's water. Yeah. It's like putting a glass upside down in the thing. There's air stays in it. Yeah. So you tilt your head, the water will come up. Right. You tilt your head back, the water will go down. Ah. Keep your head straight, and the water stays down here. Okay. Stay blue your chin. No, hey, I how wasn't. Was it was absolutely brilliant. He, he, was did, it he did amazing. He did amazingly. Yeah, it was really good because. Um, like the fact that you just go underwater and you stay there you don't need to swim up and breathe yeah it's just like you're able to breathe underwater really it's, it's really unique. nice yeah yeah so many fish i mean we're there there's over like, five thousand fish in that small bit there's like fish swimming all around you ray big massive rays right there wow. big sharks as well sharks i would say they the shark breathe now we're looking through the glass some of the sharks in there are huge, oh, huge. absolutely yes. massive so yeah so and good. they had this huge, big, red, white fish. It was right there. It you, was right not, there. You reach out and touch, we're not allowed to touch it. You're not allowed to touch it. I caught it on camera, literally just Oh, just could here. you take the GoPro in? Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Well, they, they, they rented out GoPro, not rented, they sent people down with GoPros. But you had to had to get it. them in. They don't get the stuff off it unless they buy the photo package. And I got, I must have got about 20 minutes of footage down there. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, it's so, absolutely So good. For the money we paid, yeah. absolutely incredible experience. And there was, there was one of the kids down there, I was here, about 13, 14. And he was scared. And has aut autism, so yeah. needs a, a extra sensory. Yeah. And, um, and his mum was telling us beforehand. And he took a little bit longer to go in down the water, he needed to make sure his ears were okay. Once he was down there, he, he loved oh, loved it, you should see it. It's such a unique experience. You're down there and these fish are swimming all around you. You're not looking down on them. You're we were looking up at these big massive rays swimming over us. Incredible. Yeah. So Aww, good. I'm so pleased well you boys. It. Well done. Jacob wants to do it next time, don't you, yeah. darling? Jax, you'd have loved it, my darling. Just make sure you're old enough. Yeah. I, got, I got a mango ice cream. Oh, lovely. So we are about to head off for our dolphin swim. Yes. <gasps> I'm so excited for this. I've waited years for this, Noah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What about you, Esme? I'm really excited. Me too. Jacob? Can't wait. Can't I'm so wait. excited. <laughs> We've been looking forward to this so, so much, and now the time has come. It almost doesn't feel real. So. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so excited. Yeah. Wait. Eagles interacted anywhere in the animal found off the coast of the United States. So we've uh, got a little bit pink in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little bit did pink today. I did, yeah, yeah, but I think I was already pink before I put it on. Um, so we've just finished the just dolphin, dolphin experience it with all the kids. Amazing, wasn't so it? good, oh, so good. We've I had did the, cry a couple of times, I must admit. It was so so nice, so, um, so and it's really well done as well. You're doing small yeah. groups, and you get to do movement so you get to interact with the dolphin we had coral um, and then you individually get to uh, touch her and pet her and have photographs taken with her um, and then you get to swim it's not swimming with them but you get to hold on to her dorsal fin and side fin and she glides you along in the water while they take pictures oh, so it was wonderful it really was it, really it was, was so good with the kids as well and the way they give you instructions on how on where to put your hands and what not yeah. to do with your feet so felt nice and safe and really good it was we well done. we did swam with dolphins on our honeymoon in cuba back in oh God. 2008 yeah um yeah. and it was did you forget when we got married then <laughs> would i ages ago <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no but seriously we in cuba we jumped into this like lake and you couldn't even see what was below you so this was a a wonderful experience yeah compared compared to that this was incredible um and you can tell the animals really well looked after i know not everyone agrees with it but it's you know in the world we live in to get that kind of experience for your kids and see that witness that i'm i'm gonna so I, I, I think it's worth it. So yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Yeah, it was so good, so good. All yeah. the kids really enjoyed it, even Esme, because they thought Esme, because the water was quite deep, actually, the part of the lagoon that we were in, 
and um, the thought Esme couldn't swim, but she's a very competent swimmer actually. She is. Um, and uh, and then we, once they knew that and realised that, they let Esme do the do the glide on her own. And Esme, she you could only see her head above Aww. her, like the water was right up to her chin, bless her. And she was holding on, but she smiled like a she Cheshire did. cat the whole way through. She so did. sweet. She's been dying for this. Aww. She loves the water. So yeah, incredible experience. Yeah. We just went and had a look at the photo package. Haven't made a final they decision. Good, they didn't put any kind of pressure on you to buy it there and then. Mm. They can go away and think about it and discuss it and Absolutely. then you can go back later there's lots of different options but the cheapest option was for four prints right. um six by eight weren't they six by eight yeah four prints and it's 109 plus tax yeah and the which... more expensive one which is all digital mm. and everything included is 299 and they kind of go up in stages from 109 to 179 to 239 to 299 and of course you get more in the 299 one than anything else in reality i think if if all of the photos were lovely for yeah. us and all the kids and the group ones and that we'd, yeah. we'd probably do it because it's one of the things you, it's a once in a lifetime you're probably never going to do it again yeah but unfortunately today it was a bit breezy and windy so with the girls hair and there was a lot of photos actually that you we wouldn't, wouldn't have want. bought anyway where there's just like hair over <laughs> it's like this but so. it is worth noting i was actually checking on the website this morning and you can get so that 299 package was actually 255 if you bought it pre-booked it on the website this morning so mm -hmm. if the photo package is something that you want you should it's, definitely so they're do all that bit cheaper so it's about 20 yeah. percent off is it if you book it in advance before you come yeah. obviously you're taking a chance because you're committing to buying it yeah, you and you don't, don't know what it's going to be like mm -hmm. but look you're there with dolphins and they're good photographers i'm sure you're going to get lovely photos it just the majority of ours there was there was something yeah. so we'll probably go for the one we just pick one of each of the kids and, and nice group one if we can one, I think so yeah i think that's Perfect. what we decided so. but yeah super good experience uh, and was. just a reminder that actually getting this ticket on the black friday sale mm. what we paid for the dolphin swim is normally it was the same price as what it would normally be without the dolphin swim so yeah. that discount really kicked in yeah, and gives us an extra experience so yeah really well worth it what did Lovely. you think kids we would love to hear your opinion I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah. It was very good. You look really comfortable with them actually. Out of all of the did. kids, you, I know you're the eldest. Ezzy, what was it like swimming with dolphins, honey? Good. Yeah, yeah. tell us the best bit for you. Um when I ride it when I rode the dolphin. On the When you got the side. you got to glide with the dolphin, yeah? Yeah. And you were smiling. Jacob, what was your favourite bit? Probably just like touching the dolphins in general. Yeah. The dolphin we had was Coral. Yeah. She was lovely. She was born here. The first dolphin that it was born here in Discovery Cove um, after it, when it first opened back 23 in years ago. 2020. Mm. Or two, sorry, 2000, should I say. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and the eldest, the oldest dolphin, which is the one that Esme and Jacob swam with. Um, it's called Capricorn, called Capricorn and he's and over 50. He's over 50 years old, but yeah. he's only got three teeth left. And um, in the wild, apparently they only live to about 20, yeah. but in captivity, actually they can live up to 50 or even 60 years old. So and he was from the Jaws movie, Jaws, Jaws 3. 3. Yeah. yeah, so Capricorn was in Jaws 3, so we're going to go back and yeah, watch Jaws 3. Because then Esme and Jacob can say, I swam with that, I touched that dolphin. So, um, I'm going to flip you around here so you can see what what they're doing. This is, the, this this is, is some other families that have come out now. We've just come to the beach area to sit and have our snack after doing the, the swim. And now they've brought the next set of families out to do it. So we'll show you what they're doing. Yeah. You can see here you've got different groups. There's actually three groups if you look around. And then they have the dolphins. Even though there is a pineapple. I know. So we'll just move locker locations so we're a bit closer to the restaurant area um, that, not because we're going to be here all afternoon but because uh, all the other stuff we want to do like the lazy river the otters the aviary and things like that are over this side of the park so we didn't want to be walking over to the other side so we moved everything a little bit closer um, and we're just going to go in now and get some lunch so i'll take you in and show you what the food offerings are like in here So again, they had all different cooking stations here for lunch. And again, I think there's something for everyone. I, I defy anyone to go in here and not find something they want. This is the American section, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, mac and cheese, uh, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. There's ceviche, salad, freshly made wraps, 
salad bowls and loads of sauces. It was really nice there. Actually, Jem got one of these and said it was really nice. Jem got the salmon here too and said it was absolutely delicious. She had some of this pineapple butter rum sauce. The salmon pieces were absolutely huge. They certainly weren't shy with their portions. This side was a bit more of me. They had peppered steak, grilled jerk chicken, and mojo pork, which was absolutely delicious. I had some of that. The dessert section was very popular. They had all different types of brownies, chocolate cake, carrot cake, cheese cake, you name it. They had so much out there. And of course, it's all you can eat. Um, they do serve it up for you, but you can go back as many times as you want, if that's your thing. So here is mine. I went for the salmon with pineapple rum sauce and vegetables. I went for the prawns and tomatoes and I went for a Cajun chicken wrap. Mmm, will I eat it all? Let's see. What'd you go for, Jem? Well, I went for that brownie and then I went for this cake that's like got berries in it. It's delicious. It's really nice, yeah? So nice. Decent selection. Mm. Chocolate brownie and chocolate caramel brownie, which we'll share out. So we've had lunch, um, sat and relaxed, had some dessert, uh, got some fresh uh, wetsuits, except me, I still haven't seen one. Um, the others just gone for the jackets now, uh, you can see there. Uh, we are now heading around to go to the Lazy River, and the this afternoon will be the Lazy River, the aviary, maybe see the uh, otters, if we can time that okay, I don't know what time it's on at. Um, and just do some chilling around this side of the park. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Loads of people in the noodles um, in the lagoon. See down there. So, yeah, we're going to go down and chill out. Um, I'll probably speak to the GoPro when we go in the water. What? We're in the aviary. Yeah. Yeah, this is where the birds live. The birds live in here. This is the aviary. They just have a natural bit that goes through it. Good chicken legs, Ezzy. Good chicken legs on it. Had a nice day. Oh, the best, absolute best. So good, isn't it? Yeah, I can see why everyone says now you have to do it. You definitely have to do it at least once. Yeah, but you can see why people would come back to have a day here even without the dolphin swim. Yes. Because yes. if you've done the dolphin swim, you come back. It's what a relaxing day. Oh yeah. You have your food, your food, drink if you want it, and you get to experience all of this with the animals and all the rest of that. Have yeah. you got good enough price on it? There's my girls. We're in a cave, give me a wave, trying to just bang his backside on the rocks. And <laughs> bang!
We're going to see some rays. And man may get shallow, gets deep, shallow, deep. You go through the aviary, so you see the birds and everything. Yeah. You're through waterfalls. It's absolutely stunning in there. You could be honest, it's like sailing through a natural river in the rainforest. It's absolutely beautiful. And the kids are getting so confident now, so it'll be good to go back into the ray pool and see how they get on. Esme, what are you doing? It's not. She's doing the splits <laughs> in the sand. Woo! As you do in Discovery Pose. Well done, Baba. <laughs> Yeah. Let's head on round then and go and see. What kind of is it? Animal or marsup? Like she is a placental mammal. Okay, so mammal. We'll have one at a time, and when it's born, they're pretty hairless, but they look a lot like sugar. They weigh about a pound. What What's her name as an animal? So that's where we have just been. This is all Serenity Bay area. Jacob, what have you got? I got ice cream. And whenever it came down, it wouldn't let go of the ice cream. <laughs> so I had to pinch it like halfway up. It came out like a Mr. Whippy. How's it taste? Now you've got a leaf in it for good measure. <laughs> it was an ice cream fail. Some girl uh, had an orange icing. No, it was a pineapple icing. And then they went and put uh, the ice, they put a pineapple ice cream in it. And then they spilled the whole thing. <laughs> so we just met a lovely couple that we actually have been watching their vlogs on YouTube, haven't we, Paul? We have. It's Fran and Mark Travels. Um, Fran and Mark Travels. They were actually here for six weeks. They did two weeks at Clearwater and then they're doing four weeks here in Orlando. They've been here two weeks. They've got another two weeks left. And they stay at the Rose and in at Point Orlando and posted that vlog. Which yeah, is, they did. Um, yeah. Helped us. Now, we had already yeah. booked it and we were going to come anyway. But it's always but nice. It's always nice. I had heard at our hotels have said before that there was renovations going on. So I was a little bit, shall we, shan't we stay there or not before coming away? And actually watching their vlog and they said that there wasn't any impact. No, it's always, there was a positive uh, yeah. room review actually. It's yeah. always nice even when you're going and I think everyone wants to do it. Um, is to get a bit of reassurance that someone who stayed there recently or if you're going two weeks time and someone's yeah. there this week That's we it. watch we watch one yeah. and every time there's a new one went up we watch it I so. checked it daily every day. absolutely so it's nice to do <laughs> that just to give yourself too. reassurance yeah. about your choices and things like that so Definitely. that's why we post our videos in the hope that help other people out in the same way so I'm going to spin you around here and show you what Look we can at the see sky. here we are welcome to the Grand Reef we're going to go snorkeling now with the rays. I'm going to snorkeling now. You see it? Nice and gentle. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So the man says you're not to touch the mouth or touch her tail. <laughs> yeah, you can touch her mouth. Eddie, did you see it? Yeah. Yeah? No, you can't. Well, now we can hold and I can swim down halfway. Can you? Very good. Are you even in that bit swimming? There she goes, the little fish lady. There she goes. Right, go. So guys, we spent our last couple of hours in the afternoon in the Grand Reef snorkeling and swimming with the fish and the rays. This was absolutely insane. The kids loved it. They've never done anything like this in their life. They all said this is one of the coolest things they've ever done.
just check out some of this footage. incredible day we've had at Discovery Cove from start to finish it's just been incredible from the sea venture in the morning to the dolphin experience and the snorkeling in the Grand Reef has just been absolutely the best thing we've ever done with the kids for me this has gone down as one of the best family days we have ever had Discovery Cove is just an absolutely beautiful place whether you decide to do the dolphin swim or not that's down to personal choice even if you don't do that it's still well worth a visit in my opinion so we really hope you enjoyed the video with us today at Discovery Cove. If you have, please do hit that like button. We'd really appreciate you subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It's absolutely free of charge and we have tons of Florida content on here, including this series to Universal Orlando. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be alerted every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.